Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one I just learned, so I'm pretty excited. I could not figure out how to do this in uh, DaVinci Resolve yet, so I'm gonna look into it, and I, can't, I couldn't find any videos, but I wanted to put this out there for anybody who might be trying to do it. So here uh, in the timeline, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, the most updated version as of this video, and uh, I am trying to export my film um, to the size that is required for copyright. So, you know, for those of you that don't know, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, there, you, if when you make a feature film or short film, more script, screenplay, anything for that matter, you can submit it to the Library of Congress uh, to copyright it, so nobody can steal your work. You know, pending its, uh, you know, pending its uh, original and all of that, and you own the rights to everything. You know. But the problem is when you go through and do it for a motion picture, um, they have upload requirements. Now, of course, you can um, you can send it, you know, via hard drive or USB or whatever. But again, you know, they even tell you when you submit, hey, it could take four to six months before you get your certificate, yada yada. So the fastest way it tends to be um, to make sure your film gets there and is correct is to submit it um, online and. Um, again, the link is in the description below. It kind of walks you through step by step, you know, what is it, motion picture, you know, who owns it, you're the author, all that. But the biggest problem I was finding was it only allows you 500 megabytes to upload. So I was like, oh my gosh. So in Resolve, I couldn't quite find a way to do it, you know, just being brutally honest. Um, I researched it, couldn't find it. So I did figure out how to do it in Premiere Pro though. So what I've done is I've exported the film from DaVinci Resolve and now I've just brought it into Premiere Pro and that's what you see here. By the way, this film will be available soon um, on many platforms, so I will make that announcement as well. But just to keep this short, basically I want to export this video, right? I want to export this video um, to the right size. So how do you do that? Obviously most exports are going to be too big. Um, this is an hour and a half movie, 100 an hour and 35 minutes, and it's just too big. Um, you know, if you go to custom whatever, let's say we want to do it in H.264, I mean, you're looking at 8,450 megabytes. It's got to be 500 or below. So how do we do that? Well, the, way, the easiest way I found is instead of messing with all this stuff and going through settings and trying to just keep going, keep going, Go down, this will be closed when you go here. Go to video settings, scroll down, um, and then you're gonna see this little bitrate setting bar here. Use this until you get the size you need. It's actually pretty easy. So if you drag it just all the way to the end, bam, 366 megabytes, I'm already good. Now remember, they don't need a super high definition quality film. They just need to be able to see the film and say, yes, this is their film, it's copyright, it belongs to this person. Obviously, this film is that film, you know, and so we're good. So, you know, it's going to come out a little, you know, it's going to come out, you see, it's not of the highest quality, but you can still very clearly see the film. I mean, you can see the actors, you can see the story. This isn't terrible. So, you know, you just uh, mess with this target bit rate and until you get the file size where you need it, which for us is um, 500 megabytes or below. And then you export and boom, you've got the right size and it should upload to the Library of Congress website, no problem. All right guys, just wanna do this quick video. Uh, I, I needed the help and I couldn't find it, so um, I wanted to pass it on to you guys. Hey, best of luck to your films, later.